Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Boy, hey, I'm really glad Daiji made a speech about how much he loved his family in this in this movie, right? And how it means the world yeah. to him. About yeah. family and everything. Yeah, right? it's all about family. It's all Vin Diesel. This is a really... Hey, this is... This is a movie that makes me fast and furious. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Like, what is that? Uh, like, the furious I get. What is the, the truth. Fast the, what is the fast uh, about to, uh, How fast you go through time. How fast you time travel. Yeah, yeah, as fast as a All right. Train, right? It's, 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 yeah, fucking the speed of goddamn... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm assuming we have issues it's with so... the appearance of the... Of, of the, of the an evil scientist character, and then his, uh... Ah, yeah, for, for, we're not even gonna get to that. We're not even gonna get to that. Hey, Kamen oh. Rider Beyond Generations, the true enemy is Saber. It's always oh, Saber. Oh, 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 we gotta say it's full. Kamen Rider Revives Beyond Generation, you know? Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, welcome yeah. to the movie spoiler cast for this shit. Review whatever the fuck you wanna call this podcast. Or, oh, right? I mean, hey, this movie was way worse than what I thought it was gonna be. This movie did not end up what I thinking it was gonna be. The, let's you? let's talk about the biggest issue of it, right? All right, right I'll, off I'll the bat, when we get to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just gonna say, right off the bat, the issue is fundamentally for me chronology. This episode, this movie takes place so fucking early in to goddamn uh, uh, revise. That we haven't even gotten the fucking uh, volcano Rex like form yet. Mm -hmm. That's From what fucking I wrote, wild to me. That's like episode thirteen. Yeah, that's, that's... where this movie. This movie aired in like mid December, right around like after like. Dude, I think this movie literally aired like came out like two weeks after Sakura gets the drive gets the belt, right? Yeah, I and, guess. And, and before and before she she joined an underground army, you know, yeah. right? Well, right, that, that, that happens with the, with the lovely real family uh, in the basement of the real family she hangs out with, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Her new friends that let her stay up all night and eat as much candy as she wants. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, so we're not going to do this, like, tr traditional episode because this movie's like, this is like 90 minutes. <laughs> it's like, a long-ass movie. It was a yeah. surprisingly long movie. And this is longer than than normal common writer movie, if anything, right? Uh, is, so we're just gonna talk about bits, right? Talk about parts we want to talk about. Okay. Right. So I guess we'll yeah, I mean, my biggest, like I said, point, but you know, <laughs> that's a little confusing mm -hmm. too. I mean, yeah. Okay, look, well, this is a movie that starts off with, "Hey, welcome to Devil City," where, oops, we failed in the, our timeline, and the, we. It's fucking, it's the whole android saga of fucking goddamn Dragon Ball Z. Uh-oh, oh, there's no say, humanity. I, I thought you were gonna say Days of Future Past. You know? No, well, I guess that's, I guess that's oh, this is true, too. Really days of Future this Past. This is Days of Future Past, yeah. Oh, right. fuck. Yeah, he goes back into a body that's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Days of Future Past, but instead of his self, he has to fucking retake the body of his old ass son ugh mm -hmm. just weird oh yeah just i was really confused by that too by the way the minute that they said like you have to go back and find your son but we were in the future and i was like what what's happening and then it was mm -hmm. like oh well you see i time traveled forward in time and now i have to time travel back in time back but in not, not as far back in time as i need to go back all yeah. the way I was really. Yeah, I thought that the way this movie was being played, I was. I thought that the uh, was it. I think the character was like Rio, Riosuke? Ryunosuke. Ryunosuke. Momo say Ryunosuke. I thought he was the son, right? Yeah, no, that's what I thought too. Because I thought that they were just fucking up like what they were saying. Then I was like, no, I'm hearing that right. They're saying son, and then it's like, yeah, I was really fucking. Confused and then, about that. then it. Hey, luckily, George draws us a handy-dandy chart in this fucking movie <laughs> to explain how everything works, but, like, yeah. Uh, so the, the, the grand conflict is, hey, there's another uh, totally Gifu-level demon out there, we gotta, or devil out there, and we gotta send you back in time to puppeteer your, your uh, old son so that you can fucking become a comrider and beat him. I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right, because he's the only one that can, and not any of the other common <coughs> writers that exist. Yeah, at, this not point any one of the. Even though at this good point, of them are literal ob, omnis, omniscient gods, omni- you know. Yeah, I was. Well, <sighs> that's the All other right, thing, well, right? Before, is, before we get any further, how how many common writer up to you you think up to this point are literal gods within within the series, right? If, if we ignore continuity, right? Like within their respective series, how many of them do you think are like actual gods, right? No. Right, so up until this point, well, Revice is what the twenty, the twenty third writer, the twenty third writer, right? Uh-huh. And then, uh huh. And then we count the seven Showa era writers, and then we count, uh, and then and okay, you know what, you know what, there's, and then we count the seven Showa era writers, we count JR, right? So let's say there's like thirty two mainline common writers, right? Mm-hmm. How many you think out of those thirty two are like actual god, like people who have the ability to, to like to go requiem, right? Uh, plenty, I would uh, presume, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. There, there, you gotta write that down. Wow, you gotta write. Yeah, that's, that's probably... I think, like, off the top of my head, I can name at least ten of them that are, that by the end of their series, they became actual god. I mean, if we're counting, are we counting by the end of their series as, like, the movie or by the last episode? Yeah, 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 by the end of their, like, their actual series run, right? So there's counting movies. Yeah. But what if the movies count as canon within the series itself? Uh, yeah, I mean... This does count that revise special as canon, so you know. I mean, oh god, the, just oh, yeah, in my mind, like to it in the, within the series, right itself, like they referenced the movie yeah. for like a quick bit, talking about how they got the stamp for the grasshopper stamp or whatever. Yeah, the, the yeah mm-hmm. the yeah. Yeah, that was that whole like, episode where where Vice like, hey, we never had time. We met old George in the future. Man, that was a crazy time. I'm so glad we met him, and then and then they never touched upon it ever again. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah that's a... Well, I have a lot of problem with that fucking stamp within within the context of this movie and how it makes no sense for it to appear within this movie. <laughs> yeah, cause wait, oh god. Oh, because he gets the because he gets the zero one stamp right, which I guess makes sense because zero one was the first Wewa era rider. But I was like, hey, you're doing a movie team up with Saber, you know? You should like, mm-hmm. hey, you, you think you you think you think George like, oh man, check out check out the Saber stamp just in case you ever team up with Common Rider Saber. You can you right? That's the thing about about team up movies, right? And Power Storm, they don't do that a lot, right? They do like Common Rider movie forms, right? It's not like when it's Sentai, right? Because mm-hmm. every time Sentai does a crossover with each other, with their previous, uh, with their previous generation, they always do like some weird cost generational gimmick shit, right? Like, uh, like in the, right, like, like, like in the Real Soldier versus Cure Major special movie, right? Yeah. They did, they did their weird. They did like, hey, look, use our power, you use their power, right? Right. Yeah, but, but usually fun- it's like crossover shit where it's like the movie. For instance, right? Normally, the the common right. Well, I guess we did have revise and, but they showed up at the end of the show, not the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. That's just my thing. Is like normally because I think that happened with Gaim, and uh, fucking and Wizard. He showed mm-hmm. up at the end of Wizard's movie, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's just like. Yeah. Normally, the crossover is supposed to be, like, a passing of a torch. Not like, mm-hmm. oh, hey, we're, uh, you guys are still hanging out here? I thought we fucking took your key cards away and fucking told you to <laughs> go home. Like, somehow the fucking Saber crew... When, they, when, when Rintaro and fucking Ogami walked into the bathhouse, I screamed. I actually went, G- oh, God did damn you it. know the cast of Saber was in this movie? I willfully ignored it. I've been brushing by that little part of the wiki every time I go to the revise page, and it includes mentioning the saber people. I go, they're not in. They're that we've already gotten enough of them. We've, we've seen them. Doesn't matter. I don't have to think about them. I was I was wrong. They're so no, in this movie. They are so in this movie, and it's disgusting. Well, they're also in a were... very apparent green screen as well, which I thought was real funny. Wait, green yeah. screen from when? Uh, uh, the Southern Base? Yeah, yeah Antarctica. You can tell that yeah. they took After, down that set. For the, uh, even realize... though, even though they, it's, they've had almost six months to, like, well, I guess at this point, three months to, like, 
maybe touch up some things, do something different. They're like, nope, Antarctica, the, the southern base is still just a green screen snow place. That's all it is. Yeah, it's real funny how the inside of the base, you, they don't have the set anymore, I guess. So they took, so you just yeah, have the Yeah, it's just the screen. door. Right? Like, the only thing that they actually had in terms of physical prop in the base was, like, the tables and the chairs, right? Yeah. It's really, it's really apparent and funny, only because of Sophia's actress and the fact that she has long hair, right? So you know that some guy had to key, had to key <laughs> frame around, right? Yeah. Like, it was very, like, I, it, I, was, I was like, I was like, when I was watching this, I was like, this looks very weird for some reason. And then it occurred to me that, oh, wait, no, they're in front of a green screen this entire time. Yeah. Right, because you can see with, with because of a, because of the because of the actress's hair and everything, they have to do all that. And they have to edit around her hair. Yeah, honestly, but man, mm -hmm. does it feel like Rintaro just keeps getting the short end of the stick? By the way, I mean, look, look, look. Rintaro is the perpetual punching bag of the entire Saber franchise, more so almost than anybody else. Mm -hmm. So confused by like how like he they even did a whole thing again where he's just like he's gonna say the thing to May again for like what yeah like, and they're just like hey time? you should yeah you should probably uh, uh you should probably hit that Rintaro if you're gonna if you're gonna hit that tap that ass you gotta you better fucking and like, make no, that don't move. worry don't worry he has like seven years or something to admit to her you know right oh, Jesus yeah. that, so that even even the idea that the chronology of Saber, even, right? Doesn't make sense for this, because it's like, okay, this is after the, like, one or two years or whatever time skip at the end of the show, but before the time skip in the movie, like, mm -hmm. yeah. so, but it's, but we're not past the point where, like, fucking Dead Man's is still a fucking terrorist organization with fucking structure. Like, mm -hmm. the chameleon dead man is still in this fucking movie. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. I was so fucking out of it when I saw Walking by Yachty. I was like, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, is he still alive by this point? And then I actually had to look it up to see where this, like, the time frame where this movie takes place. This, according according to, 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 to the Wikipedia, this movie takes place before the episode where they kill him. So yeah. there you go. So somehow in between that, what? he's... Somehow, like, right, right before they went right. to raid the dead man's base, they went and had all of this happen. Oh my god. <laughs> they have so much shit just happen right before then. Like, they had a whole time travel plot. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, thank god we had a time travel plot. Anyway, all 13 of you, f or uh, 12, whatever number of people in fucking safe and Sword of Logos, yeah, go home, ignore this terrorist sect that we've been dealing with, Oh, wait, hey, oh, wait, someone, wait. Think... oh, someone did write a plot summary of this, but they definitely wrote it scene by scene and not like an actual plot well, summary, like how like Wikipedia. It, yeah. yeah, right. Like this is an actual. This guy pretty much did this as a. There's like a there's like a break every three sentences. Like he went to a new paragraph every three seconds. Like Jesus Christ, yeah. I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna make William read this. No. Like how we oh, normally God. do with our. Wait, prior. is it really that long? How many paragraphs is it? Uh, boy, let, let me tell you. Okay, it's so let's probably see. the ravings. It probably reads like the ravings of a madman. <laughs> uh, let me like, see. So the there's plot uh, is the ravings of a madman. Let me tell you how many breaks are in this or in this plot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh my eight, God. <laughs> nine. There are nine sentence break within this plot summary. So like twenty seven sentences in total, then, right? Oh boy, I think this this guy literally wrote like three lines and went to a new paragraph. Oh my god. I, wait, I think one of this, oh, the first one, he literally only wrote three lines and went to a new paragraph. Holy shit. This is a really bad plot summary. <laughs> this, you can tell this the guy who wrote this did not, does not know how to write actual plot. I mean, right? it's usually I just mean, like the fans or whatever that just write it down and even. Yeah, but this is just, this is just fuck it. I mean. I, it's one of those things where can you really blame yeah. someone for if you have to describe a car crash and it looks like a car crash is it your fault that it's a car crash like it's just you can't fix what's difficult oh jesus well there's a difference <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference between like witnessing a car crash and saying there was a car crash and then explaining it in excruciating detail right 
so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't... He's not giving fucking coroner reports. He's the fucking... This is the reporting of the person, like, that they interview after an accident, and they're still shell-shocked, and, like, their ears are ringing, and they're like, Can you tell me what happened? And they're like, What? Well, the... Uh, 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 she went off, the, they attacked us, and... Oh, God, my ears are bleeding, and... Oh, um, where's my wife? Where's my wife? <laughs> Sir, you have no wife. I was my dog. Sir, you're you're a single man. You have no. There is nobody here with you. Oh God, they're all dead. <laughs> that sounds about right, I suppose. Oh Jesus, also, that is that is how I would des that is how I would describe this. Dude, I don't like that. Like, because I'm looking at the at the at the at the Wikipedia link, and it's just like they're called the CRISPRs. <laughs> Which I oh, bigger yeah. The fact oh, that, like, hold on. The, the, so, that was the funniest <laughs> thing, right? So, so the beginning thing, right, is about fucking Diablo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this totally not, uh, it, totally just as important as Gifu, but we never mentioned him before and we'll never mention him again, uh, villain. Mm -hmm. The yeah. CRISPR stamps. Yeah. I assume that all of us understand what CRISPR is. Uh, what do you mean? But, like, the fact that, like, it's like, crispy? Or something like that? No, no, no. Do you know what CRISPR is? CRISPR? No, I don't think I do. Because now it sounds like you know... It's, it's gene editing. Oh, like, CRISPR's mm. an actual thing. Oh! Okay. Wow. Okay, I did not know like, that. And it's spelled that way. Like, like hold on. Let me... Uh, oh, okay. yep, yep. I'm looking Cluster it up right now. Yeah. Uh, is a family of DNA sequences found in the genomes of prokaryotic organisms such as bacteria and archaea. Uh, blah, 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 and now there's CRISPR, uh, Cas9, and uh, John Oliver did a whole bit on fucking gene editing. We're all gonna make super babies, or we're gonna make the coordinators from Gundam Seed, one or the other. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. but, so what I, what I yeah. thought was hilarious, how the CRISPR were based on famous people, right? Yeah, but they don't tell that us who they are. imply that all of those people that they based on were, like, actual devil. To be fair, one of them was... One of them was Edison, so that does make sense, you know. I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but wait, did you realize who the CRISPR, who the CRISPR were all based on? I mean, the Crispies. Not really. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't really make a connection because I don't. I don't know about this whole CRISPR thing in general. I mean, no, no, it has like no, no, no. They're all based on historical figures. Okay, right? I'll oh, tell you that. this. One of them, one of them kicked a man down a a, a tunnel, and uh, it became a meme for many years. Leonidas, really? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah, so one of it was Leonidas, one of it was Edison, the other was Himiko, uh, Japanese priestess or princess or someone, and the other one, the fourth one, the Egyptian one, I didn't know what it was, but it was like an Egyptian priest or something. Uh, it is, uh, his name is, uh, call K K H U F U. Khufu. I, Khufu? Is that how you I don't pronounce know. that? That's how I'm choosing to. All right, so that means that means that it implies that since these de that means these demons made contract with those famous people, right? Which I, I guess. think is hilarious. All right, that's you think that's how Edison got so famous? He made a deal with the devil. Yeah, he said fuck up. Back. He said fuck up Tesla. Fuck him up real good. <laughs> I want his legacy to be a I'll weird South it. African I'll white man. My soul you think to steal to steal his patent? Do you think Tesla was a common writer? Is that what they're I mean, according to according to Ghost, he was at least useful as a common writer device. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> okay, that's a, oh yeah, I forgot. There's a whole Ghost plot, huh? Oh no. Yeah, they have both Tesla and Edison in Ghost. That was real funny. Yeah. Was was te was was Tesla like the good guy and Edison like the bad dude or what? I don't know. Oh. No, no, no. They were just two ghosties. Oh, just two ghosts close. that had no that never that never complained about each other at all. So it was completely historically inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well. Uh, aside from the yeah. crispies, though, which is now. Aside now, from, from the crispies and them doing gene editing, uh, this is a batshit crazy movie because they actually allowed Saber to uh, come in, which just fundamentally warps the entire like. Oh no, Realm I thought it was hilarious when, when they when fucking Toma came in, right? Because I thought Toma was going and, and he was gonna god do the, he was gonna god this thing, right? Nope. He, right? Nope, he doesn't nope, get that god sword anymore. 
Nope. Yeah. Yeah. He, I like, whatever. Wait, I, wait. Does he not have the cross saber I mean, anymore? I don't think he has the cross saber anymore. I mean, he I think does, that's but basically he what. Right. Because he. Nope. Nope. Remember when he fucking shattered into pieces and the whole re like fabric of reality was tearing apart, and then it got pulled back together by everybody saying hi, hello, I like Common yeah, Rider, they did, they did and the then he fucking, thing, yeah. and then it came back, and then it took him like an extra year or two to come back. He didn't come back with the fucking sword. The sword got disappeared into the fucking. Oh wait, hold on, wait. Yeah, you say that, but wait, then that's he even worse. By the end of it, and then he transforms into his he, god form. He does not. He does not transform into Cross Saber. No, was that not it? Nope. It was. Nope. Right? Nope. Nope. Okay, what? What? No PC. No nope. continuity. This movie lies within the continuity of Saber itself, right? Right, because cause, cause this is started in Saber by the end of Saber that Toba's been gone from Earth for like an entire year, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. but Toba reappears back in this movie, which takes place, I'm going to assume like six months or some shit, right, after their appearance, right? Cause, well, because it has to happen, it has to happen after, uh, like, uh, Iki and Vice met them. So it has mm -hmm. to be from when right. he came back. But he the, came but, back, and it was like, and he definitely just turned into Saber. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, Common Rider timeline makes no sense. Whatever, whatever, man. That's but I mean, that's the, the but that's the plot of this doesn't even make sense in general. You know? Oh no! Hey, hey, were you very confused by how this timeline works? So this is what I, I what I figured out, right? So, so uh, what is it? Uh, fuck! I keep forgetting the character's name. Uh. Uh, bu, 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 uh, uh, Ryu, Ryu, Ryu no Sosuke, right? So Ryu no he's from yeah. 1970. He traveled from 1971 to 2072, yeah. right? 2000, no. 2007. He went from 1971 to 2071. Right, yeah. 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 Right. And then he traveled back in time to, to 2022 to 2021. 2021. Right. Yes. Tw oh, whatever. Whatever the fuck. Whatever. So same, same, same thing. Right. So mm. I was confused by this time because the way that he made it sound. When he left, his original timeline was the timeline where Diablos was just alive. So he traveled forth in that timeline to a timeline no, where because, Diablos has been alive for 50 years, right? No, because the, the, way, the way he's saying is like, this is all occurring on one timeline where Diablos is always a thing, right? Back in 1971. But then, oh. you know, they, they do something, oh. get rid of him for a bit, and then, you know, they send, oh. they send Ryunosuke off into the future. Well, well, they send him to space, when then he gets into a wormhole, and then he's in the future, and then he travels back in time. Wait, so when he fucking... goes to the future, is that a, is that an alternate timeline? No, it's the same timeline. Oh, oh boy! It's a it's a wormhole oh, that just basically jumps right, forward. Wait, 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 I, I, look, wait, wait, look, I need you to take one to the team and uh, take one for the FBI and um, get out a pen and paper. And, <laughs> look, uh, George wrote it all down on his on the whiteboard at the in the middle of the movie. It all makes perfect sense. If you're just thinking uh, big brain, if you, it's well, just no, if you, oh, okay. not even if you think big brain. If you just ignore it, right? Because you're like, okay, it just works. Because because then you go into the fact like, well, if he goes back in time and stops Diablo, then the future doesn't happen. And so him going into that future doesn't happen, making it so that when he wait, making it so that well, if he's not there, then the future is going to happen regardless because no one's going to come back in time to stop Diablo. Right, and so that therefore he then he just recreates the future, and he's in the fucking infinite time loop where he has to go back and erases it, but then recreates it. It's the Flashpoint paradox, it, and it's just like yeah, no, okay, it's the look. Flash, it's the Flash, right, it's the right, Flash. Right, right. Where, where does where does Matthew McConaughey fit into all of this? You look, know, look, right? all I'm saying uh, is, he's, like he's, the time travel plot is about as mental as fucking like the the Saber movie and, and fuck and. and Ah! Oh, wait, what do you mean? The Saber movie hasn't taken place yet, you know? Yeah, as it's gonna take place in the movie. future. That it technically really shouldn't sad. exist. It was really sad at the end when he, everyone did their finishing move and Kento just turned into his fucking wander, his three-color one. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. You don't have your power. Yeah. You don't have your final. Oh, this is Man. real sad for you. Speaking Kendall. of... All right, so speaking of forms and everything, right? So, we have... Uh-huh. We have... We we have when we get get so the big I guess cameo fan service point right is hey well seeing as my old son is rejecting me uh, because I need to be inside my old son and puppet his meat sack so that I can become a com writer uh, 
What bye, if I bye, just bye. sent some of you guys to the future and then you helped out there, and then the rest of us in our fucking like army of eighteen goddamn common riders? Well, what if we just fucking send half of you in the future and half of us stay back? Ah, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, yeah, and, and, we, and we have to go on base up the helicarrier to do this instead of doing our like, a gym up the helicarrier. Yeah. yeah. What was real funny was when they had everyone walk on top. It's like, oh, man, what are you going to do with this scene? Yeah. Right? And then George is like, all right, now bring their bodies inside. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, yeah, we're just kidding. Right? <laughs> right? I'm like, I was like, holy, holy, did George just had everyone walk out front just so he could make them all walk back in? It was the funny shit ever. He just wanted to line them all George. up. He just wanted to line all of his action figures up. No, God, the scene where, yeah. right? Because I know for a fact that George just... would not carry any of them back in. Like, ah, nah. What? You want, I mean, you want yeah. me to waste my time to carry these bodies back indoors? No, you guys do that. I have to do science stuff. I thought that was real hilarious when they did that whole big cool team up walk. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. God, it's just like they do. They do all of that, then they just faint, and then they're like, <laughs> "That's hilarious." All right, let's bring them inside. Yeah, and there's also <laughs> that great point where they're. Where they almost color coordinate them just based off of their fucking outfits. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I just want to. So. Let's. So let's, like they do, skip to the future, right? Okay. In the future. Yep. Mm -hmm. The. The fucking. The, the six that get sent there. Yuri, a ghost. Yeah. That lives inside of a sword. Don't know how uh. he time traveled. Uh. Fucking Toma, Daiji and Sakura, and fucking mm -hmm. Rintaro, you know, yep. uh, all go. Now, I don't think that there's ever a point where they, like, for you, William, do you know who each common Rider, like, each person becomes? Like, do you know the names of their common Riders? Sorry, my mic wasn't working. <laughs> oh, boy, William. I said my answer, and then, like, none of you responded. Yeah, well, what's so your I'm answer, like, bitch? Say it again. Okay, so... Once more for the class. Not at all. At all. Okay, okay. so let's play a game, William. Oh, my God. Can you guess... Let's start with... Oh, can you... you should take the... You should take the, you know, one of these common writers in. Because you saw him make an appearance in a spinoff media, you know, right? Oh. Yeah, actually, you would know one of them. Yeah, if I bothered to keep it in my memory, sure. Okay, the, oh. in Kamen Rider the Mystery. Kamen Rider the Mystery. Oh, right, uh, fucking uh, Drive appeared in that one or something, right? Nope, Not nope. It's nah, I don't know. A for yeah, Apple. A for Apple. <laughs> His heart's in the right place. You know? I mean, he's <laughs> thinking... He's, yeah, I mean, he's really... I mean, he, he does drive, but... Oh, no. Is he, is he the one that does drive but isn't actually named after or themed after? Yeah, his a, it's Axel. Axel? Okay. Well, it's, it's oh, close. Well, Excel. Excel? Okay. All right. Because it's A-C-C-E-L. All right. But, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I got, uh, you know what? I, I got, I got A So, a so that's after. one. All right. Okay. Yeah. I just want to, yeah. but All I just right. want to ask right. you. There's only one comment that matters in, in the first transformation match. So, yeah. so you know how... During the course of Saber's uh, reviews, right? Uh -huh. We keep joking about Rintaro and his common writer, right? <laughs> no, no, hold on. That's oh, not yeah, the yeah. only one that's important. That's not the only one that's oh. important. There's another one that's really important. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. So, we, no, no, all right. Uh, but we'll focus on this one first, right? Yeah. So, wait, so what do we tell you about Rintaro's common writer name? Right, right. The fact that there was another common writer that was called Blade, but then he was. He had to call, call him Blades to differentiate, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 That one, that what one if I were to that. tell you, William? What if I were to tell you, William, uh -huh. that Blades became Blade? No, I, you see, when he when he said like when he said it kind of like there was a line where he's like, oh, this fit this fits me for some reason. I'm like, okay, I think I know what the joke is with that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but here's the real thing uh -huh. that's fucking nuts. So remember how we were just saying before how many characters how many common writers by the end of their series become omnipotent gods does he just come in on incredible God? No! No, 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 no 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 blade, blade okay let me page, let right? me put it another way let me put it another way for you william uh -huh. one of these writers is not like the other one of these writers is not in their base form one of these writers is in their final form what are... can you guess which one it is 
Okay, well, if you want to screenshot it and send it to me, then I'll probably... Okay, fi uh, the, the, the fi okay, I mean, the go 57 to, uh, go to 50, 50, 50, 57.30 mark. Okay, 57... Or 57.23, when, when, it's, when they're all, like, mid-transformation. Or, yeah. When, when, when you get can there, see who shot. is about to become who. Yeah, one, one of, of them these is... guys looks way more extra than the I other one. I assume the one all, right. all the way out to the right. Yeah. Well, the one that's Yuri, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yuri mm -hmm. is transforming into X-8's final form. All the other ones are getting the base forms of their riders. Yuri gets the fully upgraded form of his rider. Right? Which, which is batshit it's, crazy. It's like, Just to tell you like what... when you play a game... And instead of getting the base weapon, you immediately go for the end game weapon, right? Yeah. Okay, he has end, he has wait, end game. Well, yeah. he, everybody else got, like, base user avatars, and he got the admin login, like, credentials. Like, <laughs> and he, and I just need doesn't... you to, I need you to understand this, alright? Let me, let's, let's just take a second, right? Uh -huh, let's uh -huh. just take a second. I'm going to look, I'm going to pull up fucking, so the name of his form, right, is, uh... Muteki, it's, uh, god damn it. It's fucking, uh... Is it just Muteki Gamer? Yeah, yeah. Invincible. So, the whole thing about x right, was it was... The, the motif was doctors and video games. Uh-huh. The Muteki part of it, right, uh -huh. is, like, invincible. The, the video game part of this being... You know when fucking Mario gets the goddamn gold star? He is a so his the whole point of this ability was because the final boss, like it often winds up being, is a common rider that can stop time and fucking is uh Zawarlding them every time and beating the shit out of them. So they make a form that gives uh Emu, the the main character it lets him fucking fully, like... Cheats, basically. It, it, right? Yeah, it lets it, him it, cheat. It's, it's pretty much... It's literally going to... They literally go to work for you on this. So on ironically. Like, I, I, I'm being serious right now. They actually go to work for you on it, right? Oh my god. <laughs> that's 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 literally how the end plot of, of x went, right? Because the final boss was actually... He kept cheating with time travel, right? Mm -hmm. To the point where it was like, Hey, look, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to out-cheat you. You know, oh but you're Hyper That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. uh, blah 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 blah. I I need to look at exactly. All right. Uh, oh, you look for his power. Stack? I just wanted to look at. Yeah, I wanted to look at exactly what it says. Uh, it allows him to warp. Uh, it allows him to warp. He can't be like take. He can't take any like negative status effect. Uh, I mean, he's literally invincible. He's literally inv invincible, and he can fucking warp all over the place and beat the shit out of anything. Oh my god, so he just literally just, it's just like, he just goes into god, like, well, I know we keep saying it, but it's like god mode in a video game. Right? No, it, it really is, like, it's, it's fucking, yeah. And he doesn't beat everyone's asses because of that? I, I mean, you can argue the fact that Yuri doesn't actually know how to use, like, just, like, putting on a suit of armor, right? Right, Without but, actually, but, I guess, but the fact is to that the power, it, right? That's like also, a... so, but the whole thing about that, right, is that old George says, like, look, my clone riders, you can use any one that you want. First of all, I don't understand what that means. Second of all, if this is going to be the big payoff for the opening this whole time, I'm gonna be livid no that's what i was gonna they, say too because i'm like if this is the only time we ever get like get it like within like get into his jars device, then then yeah what's the point right because then it's oh, yeah, that, like, the whole the opening has series. been saving up for, for for this opening fit right yeah yeah it's i mean i guess we can also say that goal still goes back to the production of revise and how the production of revise was actually a train wreck of a mess that they had to figure it out right like, yeah, right. Uh, because yeah, I keep hearing we don't we don't know the details yet, right? But we just hear we just hear like like drippings or whatever. I, I don't know what the term. Mm -hmm. term yeah, is. that's yeah. what we call them, drippings. Look, I just referred like drippings off like a fucking like I don't know yeah. turkey or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. I like everything for you to put a dripping analog to. Yeah, I love turkey. I love a nice dripping wet turkey. Oh yeah, drip like, turkey. Uh, drip. It's really bad when my when, turkey, when, when, I, when, I, when my turkey has a dripping problem. 
No, you don't. Okay, you're not. Can. Oh, don't, don't, don't make the turkey drip. Oh, that's what that's what naturally happens when the juices when you bake it, the juices fall off, dude, and then they go down yeah, on the well, fucking it, baking it, tray or whatever it, you fucking have. Yeah, yeah, and you take the, yeah. the drippings and then you make a gravy out of it. That's like a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're like a thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I know. Whatever, man. That's cooking. You can look it up. You didn't know what CRISPR was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. CRISPR is because it's fucking science and fucking like gene modification. Oh, it's not no, a general, man. It's just you'll, that be, I know. you'll be you you'll be mad when my when my child has superpowers. <laughs> Dude, I'll give him the I'll give him the compound V and make him strong. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's hope we don't live in that timeline. How about that? All right. Make him fly. Also, I still think it's real funny how Yuri does have to fight a four, right? Because right, here's the thing with how many, right? So, so gold is the color motif for for XA's final form, right? Uh -huh. But his main, mo his base motif color is pink, right? How many comrades you think have a gold base form, like pretty much like a level one uh, color main color motif, right? Right. We have right. We have like what thirty two? You said before. I don't know, we have way more common writers. I mean, I mean I'm it's not series. series with, like, actual just common writers. Because they, it didn't... Oh, there's, like, like, over 100 common writers. Because like, everybody didn't matter, necessarily like, pick, like... Everybody didn't, like, pick, like, a main writer. Like, Axel is the secondary writer of his, of, like, his series. Mm -hmm. So, like, and, Toma, and, and even Toma though Toma's... Like, a... One of only three, one of only three female comrades. So her choice was already limited, all right? She didn't have enough character options for her. And yeah. it was like, okay, look, this is the closest thing I got for you, all right? Okay. You can either be the female writer that shoots a gun, the female writer that only appears for five seconds, the female writer who who only dance and then get beats up, or... The female the writer female... that was a villain. Mm-hmm. Right? Or the female writer that only appeared in the movie, or the other female writer that appeared in the movie, alright? Oh my god. So, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, look, remember what we tell you about yeah. common writer and, and females, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting, I, I'm hearing it just from you just listing them off, and it's like only five of them or some shit. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Oh no, I, no, there's more female card violence, you know. <laughs> but, but in terms of like actual usefulness, right? I think in terms of like female card, I think. Okay, not counting Sakura, I think, like, the only other competent female writer was a Fame, and that's it. Because I think every other female common writer after Fame was pretty much useless. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't know. Naki did fine. Fucking... I mean, do we consider Naki a female common I mean, I... she identify... They identify as gender neutral, but they're... First of all, they're a robot, right? Yeah. All right. So the the whole gender thing is really out the window at that point. But eh, the suit is, if I remember, was female presenting. I don't think, I don't think Naki's rider suit was that feminine. Uh, right? was it? Hold on, I'm gonna look up Naki. I uh, nope. Yeah, this is not. This is yeah. I'm looking it up right now. So what, uh, would, they, would they be actually like genderless or something? Is that like? I mean, yeah, this gets back into like what we were saying with high school heroes, but like this is different. Uh, I mean, in comparison to the other Metsubo Jinrai like riders, mm -hmm. uh, it's they look. It, uh, no, I mean, it, yeah, no, it's pretty. I guess it is just as gender neutral as the others. Mm -hmm, yeah, right. It's, it's not. Like, it's not like when when uh when when uh when they had Janae transferred to Poppy, right? And this yeah. is the most female comic writer. Yeah, ever, right. But yeah, I for, I right, actually forgot about you know, Poppy like, until you it, yeah. Right, would it cover? I think for like oh, let's say last fifty. I think there's in my opinion, I think there's probably only been. Two competent female common writers before Sakura, okay? Well, shit. It, <laughs> God damn. That's 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 that's, 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 that's how long yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. All right. So. But yeah, oh yeah. By the way, too, did you get confused on who one of the evil writer was until you until? I was very like confused. A good bit? I was very confused. Okay. I didn't even know. Oh, yeah, so I didn't know they were evil, just until evil they started fighting, and I'm like, oh. Oh, and even then, you already seen them. You already seen them within the main show with like Vale, right? I mean, Fa Fauci was an evil common writer if you think about it, right? 
Fauci. Not we're not. No, it's not Fauci. Not not Fauci. Not the Fauci ouchie. The Fauci ouchie. Yeah. Well, I for- completely forgot about Common Rider Four until this movie when they when they had that whole big. I was like, I couldn't tell who who was the Common Rider that literally looked like a fucking air soldier. Right, I had to think about who the fuck that was until I had to realize it was Common Rider Four from Common Rider Drive. Oh yeah, by the way, Common Rider Four uh, premiered uh, came out in uh, came out in Common Rider Drive. By the way, just to let you know. Well, there's so many. Uh, there's also so many of. I guess the Devil Riders don't have the powers of their or the full powers of their. Like it's the same thing as Muteki or Hyper Muteki, I guess, where it's like they don't have the full powers because some of these movie writers are supposed to be broken as shit. Like, mm-hmm. right, but you know you can't have the broken writers, you know, solve the 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 movie's problems apparently. So I mm-hmm. guess I don't know, yeah. man. They just they they play they play fast and loose with a lot of things in this movie, from what I'm seeing, you know. Mm-hmm. So oh yeah, they do. They definitely do. Right, but don't worry. But look, it's like I said, my favorite part of this movie, right? I said, see, because it doesn't help that we're so far ahead in revise right now, right? Because this was aired in like December, and this and we're watching this like. Tw- Six, seven, six, seven months later, right? Yeah. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't give her the fact that Daiji had this whole speech. Like, hey, look, Vice, you're a good guy, you know. You're all about. Look, we would never betray our friends and family. Yeah, Ooh, we, don't God, betray, we don't We don't betray should, our family in this write family. This down. You should write this out on a post-it note and put it in your locker. And every morning, you should look at that <laughs> note and remind yourself that. Yeah, you know? do it for him. <laughs> Right, like when Daiji started having like his little speech to Vice about about family and friends, I was like, mm, I mean, like, all right, hey, look, Daiji, look, hey, look, I mean, at this point, you're are correct, you know, right? Yeah, you're still a okay. You're probably fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. probably. I just you... found it real funny uh, when you when Daiji had gave that speech. Yeah, yeah. And, and especially in hindsight, you're like, man, this is. Uh... This doesn't feel great. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't pay off. Man. Look, Daji needs to take his own advice. Yeah, you know, I mean, about you it. Know, then again, I think he well, he he should have still have his had, had his demons <laughs> at this point. So you know. Oh yeah, no, that was the big this oh, part, yeah. but that was the biggest crime of this movie. The fact that Congro does not show up at any point. Yeah. Right. Wait, did he? Did I was like, I was, he, I was, like, he, I was, he, was like, he had his Kongro. form, right? Or didn't he? I'm yeah. Just remember. Evil was yeah. the first form. Evil, mm-hmm. evil came out before live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wow. Actually, yeah, you think he would show up considering you know the future, right? And he would have been, you know, probably somewhat. I don't know what would what would happen to a dirty half breed like the like the Igarashis, right? In the in the weird imperial uh, palace of demons, right? Because technically, they're not really. They those demons can't really live without their humans. So would they be allowed to live? I mean, I would mm-hmm. imagine they would be because they would just le- later be turned into full demons at some point, right? Because that was the whole th- plot point within Revise too. Right? Where I guess. The people would like take over or some shit because that's how. But they, for they but work. would it ha- would it count for like these aren't people possessed by demons? They're people that have demons. Like Kagero still looks like a person. Like, Kagero doesn't... I mean, out of all of them, Kagero exists the least without Daiji. Like, mm-hmm. Vice and, and fucking uh, Love, uh, Love Cub, at least they can actually separate, like, momentarily when they're transformed. But, like, Kagero literally is just, like, sharing the same body, and that's all we got. Mm-hmm. He has no right. demon form, I guess is what I mean. Like, there's no... Like, even if he were to, like, live in that timeline, he wouldn't necessarily, like look any different i suppose so but then he also got like fucking i mean i guess he's also kind of like sort of kind of not a thing i don't know he's like there's what was the director's name again fucking akaishi akaishi right he, there's a, there's his whole thing where he's also part demon i guess I mean, but he's not here, you know. Oh, for some, I, uh, also, no, no, for no. some reason, Akai, he's he not enters, here. Enters the, enters the picture, you know. Yeah, for some reason, no, not for right. some reason, because he doesn't show up until they kill the fucking fake director. Yeah, yeah. That's how mm-hmm. far back in the plot we are. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Akai has not been established yet as a as a character that exists, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, he can't reveal the one of the 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 big bad generals, you know, until like close towards the end of the series, anyway. I mean, to be fair, Akaishi showed up, like, real fucking 
early and just, just like, waited. Just waited. Yeah. No, Laughed no. and licked his lips real weird. <laughs> God. Kept touching himself with his gloves on. Oh, my God. Why is he wearing those gloves, we thought? Wait, his gloves are real weird. That's why, because he's got an infected butthole on his hand. Oh, God. Uh, don't remind me. <laughs> oh, God. Also, do we want to talk about how how lacking in heart? Uh, we, we can talk whatever we want. There's no there's no sequence, you know. We can yeah, talk whatever. Keep, yeah, much like this. Talk about like how how weak the fucking like the the father son drama was, right? Oh yeah, no, it was real. Bad. I was really good. I, it, like I said, it, like it didn't help the fact that it took me a while to realize what they meant when uh, when they said Rito's Rito Sosuke was uh was the was the dad. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. The, yeah. Because it's like, because because the way I mean play it out, like I thought he was gonna be his son for the future. Whatever. Wait a minute, this does this, this that doesn't make any comment, fucking sense. So does that? So so does it add up? Yeah, because yeah. if, if he was the son, this whole fucking overcomplicated plot, like bringing like uh you know the first the first the first Kamen Rider into it somewhere. Oh no, no yeah, because they kept because they had to make it tied to the original to the actual original Kamen Riders that aired in the seventies. You know, and I'm like, yeah. Uh oh. But in a way that like, didn't mess with the timeline completely. Uh, like. Still revisionist history by saying that Phoenix and Shocker, like, interacted with each other before and, like, knew about, like, each other. And yeah, and they had, like, like, they knew about the demons and everything and that. And that yeah. Which, again, goes back to what I was saying when we were... I mean, this oh, is what I've been saying the whole time. I got to say about Kamen Rider. With the fucking... With it starting at, like, 1971, like, back in, like, South America and then, like, all of the nods to, like... The past, like, it, it's all of the references to past writers. It's so fucking confusing to throw in an, an even more like weird connections and be like, "Yeah, we've always known about uh, like Shocker, and Shocker existed." Yeah, and, and it remember? doesn't add off. No big payoff. I thought that there was gonna be like some weird, right? Because the they kept so when they did all those weird cover writer one flash to the original, I was like, "All right, is he gonna show him at the final battle or some shit now?" Right? All right, all right, yeah. so here's the fun trivia bit mm -hmm. of this movie, right? So the actor that plays Common that Common Common Rider Ichigo, right? The first original Common Rider, right? Mm -hmm. All right, he is the son of the actor that played Common Rider Ichigo in the original series back in the seventies. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's a good bit, yeah, you know, right? Bit, yeah. But it's I was, just... I thought it was gonna be way more exciting because they kept hammering up about it. Oh, hey, look, and I thought check they out would... who we got. Right, I thought there like, was gonna be the him. Advertisement kept hyping up like, oh, look who we got for to play Kamen Rider Ichigo, right? Because prior to this, they only ever got the original actor, like the actual original actor for Ichigo, to only come back and do like voice cameos. Right. right? I mean, he or no, he that. showed up. Didn't he show up? I mean, in a couple? mainly, 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 except yeah. for, except for, of like, with, except for like, for like, for like these sm small special, didn't, right? But wasn't so, there at the was? Didn't he have one in zero one, like a cameo? I think it was only voice. I don't think he the actual actor appeared in zero one because prior to this, I think the only time he appeared was in the Drive movie where they gave him his own or the Ghost movie, whatever the fuck. What was the one right? where all of the it was like Showa versus Heisei? Fuck, wait, was that a movie? I forgot about Yeah, the Showa vs. Heisei movie. Wasn't he in that one? I thought that was more recent. Oh, I spelled shower. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Showa vs. Heisei. 2014. Mm. Showa Rider vs. Heisei Rider. What, what was what was 2014? That's Ghost, right? Uh, boy. That's a... Uh, no, is it Gaim? Oh yeah, you're right. This guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's the last time I can think of him actually being there. Yeah, but yeah, but he, but like, but he mostly makes makes like voice cameos, right? Like, right? Because it's like because they cause they don't have time to get the get the um get get the actor back on set. They're like, okay, look, you could we only got you back to to get you into the recor recording booth. It's you know, like how they keep. It it's like how they keep involving the grandpa in those Fitzgerald Automotors fucking commercials. And he keeps, every year that they keep putting him in commercials, he keeps looking worse and worse. That's kind of what it is. It's they keep wheeling Grandpa right. out of the retirement home, <laughs> tossing him on the set, and then going, right, dance, <laughs> old man, dance. And then he goes, please, I just want to go home. And then they were like, alright, you gotta give us your firstborn son, then. And he's like, okay, here you go. And then, but like, they went through all this mess to fucking get the firstborn son, and then they just went, yeah, it's the story. The story's about this other guy from that we never really talked yeah. about in the first Common Rider. I thought, I thought, 
having him was gonna be a way more important role within the movie. Yeah. Right? Like, I thought he was actually gonna show up at the final battle or some no, shit. No, but he shows up as a some... ghost after the end of it, which is Which doesn't weird. make much sense if you I think about the, it, right? It's just a way to make it so that, like, the the, fun, the 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 villain character who is going through a redemption thing gets like you know he he's absolved of his sins which even then I'm like no don't don't he did horrible things to you what are you, why are you saying you're grateful for it like I get you used it for good but that was on your that was you and you alone that's not him that's not that's not what he gave you the powers for my guy hey look look you, you look you know what they say it was because of Hitler that we that, that. Oh my right, God. For well, for all uh, well, well Molly and I, Molly and I have a have a uh, saying we say uh, when we watch things. It's always Nazis. It's always not. Yeah, in this. It's case, always Nazis. In this case, yeah, it was the Nazis. It's always Nazis. <laughs> it's always Nazis. It's always Nazis. It's, it's either uh, the fucking... Nazi or the Klan, you know, one of yeah. those two. God. Right. Yeah, but it's just like you, like you get you, like you spend like ten minutes on on just showing off, like all of that, you know. What I assume is just basically. Recreated fo- like footage from what uh, earlier episodes, right? And then uh, yeah, like a lot of it was just re- recreated. Like, I mean, like, yeah, like, I mean, they like, just, it's just like if it. Amounts, also, I was really mad that they didn't switch to four by three. Did you feel wrong when they didn't switch? To I would have loved three? if it was four by three, dude. It would like if you emulated the feel of like the episode because you're going through all this work just to like re- what I'm assuming is remaking a scene from like one of the episodes of the show, and then you you don't do the four mm-hmm. by three to give it that other feel because they, like. Again, we're, we're like just going back to like, like um, high school heroes. They 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 did that for the opening and everything. It was a very nice feel, like to like show like, oh yeah, this is kind of how they did it back in the day, and it feels nice, right? But in here, it's just they kind of don't do it. But like mm-hmm. they just like say, hey, look, here's here it is. You know, remember Kamer? Like, re- remember Kamer Rider? Remember? Hey, mm-hmm. it, check it out. Is it amazing how we still have all these old fucking suits from 50 years ago in storage and they're still in good condition? You know, right? Yeah. Well, it's because that's because that's because George is keeping them in the pristine jars. Don't ask <laughs> oh, yeah, how he right, keeps right. them. That, don't ask what he loops yeah. them up with, but yeah. he's cleaning them. But yeah, also, but like the scene where they day. have when they have him t- uh, tied down to like the grill. Right, I thought that's the way for you to describe that plate no. to the grill. Like, like, like they're recreating like the original scene from the from like the first episode when uh when he gets his common rider power basically. Yeah, and when they right. fuck up his body. Yeah, and it's just mm-hmm. it's just like if you're gonna, you get they go through all of that and it's just like if it amounted to something by the end of it, it would have been fine. But it's just it's just unneeded fluff, you know. If anything, like mm-hmm. it's fun, like it's Ooh, fun like the watching whole... it. I'm not gonna lie, because I did enjoy it. Like all the like... footage they showed the original Cobra Rider, it was fun. They didn't need to show any of that. Like oh, you... all we had to do was say, oh yeah, I used to be a Nazi, and then and then I realized being a Nazi was bad, so they sent me to space jail. Yeah, they said that you're going to cool. space now. Haha, <laughs> you can't stop right? us now. Like literally, you could have really cut out all of the all of that footage involving involving Cobra Rider Ichigo, and the movie still would have made sense like that entire yeah. like all those sequences was one percent fun it's really there for fan service for the for the audience who are who 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 knows what common runner ichigo was mm. right but even that but even then all that stuff is just fans and it doesn't lead to anything by the end of it except for his ghost showing up and saying hey hey look hey look it was okay you're a nazi you know everything worked out because of it yeah i'm just like no why? Why are you thanking him for that, man? That's just... also. Did that look very bad to you, by the way, when he showed up as a ghost? It didn't look great, but it doesn't. Then again, you know what looks worse, and it's just kind of like because here's the thing: it just looks odd to me, uh, where um, where where Ryunosuke and his son, right? They do that whole like they're side by side, but when it when it's front facing, did it look like the old guy's head was kind of like CGI'd on, or was that just me? Hmm. I don't know because about that. It, it's it just looked, old it's, man. It's, it's just, just it just looks very still. Where I'm just like I'm doubting it for a hot second. I mean, the old man has a really weird big head. That's just uh, I, I, it, to me. It just kind of felt like it for a hot second. I'm just saying that was just really weird to me mm-hmm. because of how like how like it felt centered. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It just felt <laughs> yeah. centered. It was like hmm, felt so, it too. It was too centered for. Wait, what, what, was it not Wes Anderson enough for you? <laughs> yeah, where's right? the symmetry? Yeah, but Wes Anderson can make look, look. At least, at least the centering is on purpose, right? And this one it just felt off to me. But then again, that just might be me complaining about old old man <laughs> physics. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so there's one thing I want to complain about. No, uh, and, well, there's a lot of stuff I want to complain about in this one. one. Yeah, we've, we've already been complaining about a lot. All right, so when George was figuring out the devil's plan, right? And he's like, oh, yes, right? He was like, oh, wait, right? When he was like, oh, wait, wait, I thought they were going to the fifth point for the power, right? And then he focused on, on the middle of it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he's, he doesn't really focus on it. He only focuses on it after May is just like, let's get to the... Isn't, aren't they the heart of the matter? Like, wait a minute. Heart. And then, you know, he then he's like, he gets that Eureka moment, right? Yeah. yeah. Truly wait, a Sherlock think... master yeah. of deduction. Yeah. I don't think... It, I'm not sure if this map was correct or not. Right? Because I'm like, not Fuji, so I was like, mm, boy, this is a... This is all, it's really all these specific. You had the map not... Presented like the traditional map, right? Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> yeah. For for Mount Fuji to be in the center, you know. Right. Look, man. I, look, they look. Japan was in the center. It might as well be Mount Fuji, you know. Like, like oh, literally, right, literally right. Like, he just yeah. he's like, oh yeah. If we look at these other points, aha, Alaska. You know, I'm just like, yeah. Could have been, could have been. I don't know, the North Pole, or something. If you wanted to go is, there, or something. Is, hey, would you call what he did? Pentagulating Con instead of triangulating. Con what? Like pentagulating, oh, taking pent a pentagon. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> like he found the fifth point by looking at the other four. No, I mean the thing <laughs> is, they, they knew. Did he find the one piece in Raftail? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Did he come, did he gather all the pony glyphs? Okay, I'm with. What's happening in Wano? Open the gates! Oh, Open the well, gates! I mean, I mean, God. I mean that's I mean that's what happened at the end of Wano, you know. Bring out the elephant. Oh, right. Yes. Also, I keep forgetting how early this is. The fact that we don't see Aguilera ever transform. I was like, nope, because oh, she I mean, still hasn't mean, even turned into her B form. Yeah, I was like, I was really confused why Aguilera is just doing nothing. I was like, oh wait, I forgot. She has and nothing Aguilera to do. Yeah, and yeah you don't that's want to right. Spoil yeah, the surprise for like later in the series, anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to spoil the surprise, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil the surprise, even though, God, what episode had come out in by the time this came out? Let me just look this up. It's literally the episode where they where they kill uh kill. It this episode airs the episode before they kill fake fake Wakabayashi. Right, that's, but they kill. I looked it up. No, they kill fake Wakabayashi after they've raided. The the base. Yeah, it's just before right, that. But that, this is before but, that. Right, but I'm saying that when they after they raid the base is when uh she reveal like when Aguilera transforms into the bee. Mm. Oh, is it? Uh oh. Mm, uh oh. That's actually a good point now. Boy, this is a uh, yeah this is a mess. Well, hey, time time hey, time, yeah. time travel movies suck. People need to stop making time travel movies, all right? It yeah. really yeah, none time of... travel stuff is really it's I it gets really messy and it's always like you have to either work on multiverse theory to make it like, like acceptable they... for you to do any retcons or you have to just like force it down people's throat and be like, "Yeah, well, oops, we changed the future." I mean, even then, mm -hmm. it's just like they they literally could have done a simple thing where it's just like I mean, Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball Z kind of like solved their own issue, like saying, "Oh, this won't change your future; it only changes our future. Yours is a separate timeline now. That's how this all shit works, still, right?" Right. I think the problem is that they try to make this connect with the original Common Rider series. It's, right? That's it's, it. Yeah, it's unnecessary. That's the thing, you know. But they they really wanted to use it. Right. They really want to let people know that this is the 50th so. anniversary of Common Rider, and we got to make a big deal of it, you know? Yeah, right? it kind of suffers that thing where like. In, like with the other Saber movie that we saw where like Tomo was kind of like forced in like he was just really plugged into that into the fucking plot and kind of ruined like fucking um uh, what uh what was his name again fucking um what was, what was the spotter's user's uh name again Kento Kento, Kento yeah, yeah. They, like Kento had like Kento's storyline was like it really interesting as shit but then they had to put Tomo's in and then Tomo was made the, the main focus piece he was the main character of the series. Oh yeah, yeah. For right. he was not doing his job as the Wonder God 
yeah. guardian, and, right? And yeah, so, can you imagine that? Like, like, like you retire, like you finish, like, like all right, that's it. I saved the day. I defeated the great evil. I am now. I put in. I put in my two week notice, right? I've already out here. sold my house. I'm moving down to can Florida. We? I changed my address, and so none of you can contact me anymore, <laughs> right? Still, and then no. just for just for rituals, hey Tomo, we need you again. I. Here, I got your stupid hat. Just when you think you're out, what? just when you think you're out, they bring you back in. Mm-hmm. That's right. I found I found those really dumb pair of pants you like to wear. Oh my god! Oh god! I forgot about the I pants. Fr- oh shit! Come dress like a fucking freak again. <laughs> yeah, and, and where does um, I'm really I'm really fucking I hate his default base outfit, right? Of him wearing the hat and his stupid and his stupid <laughs> writer's outfit, I guess. How fucking how fucking dumb he looks in this outfit. Okay, right? I looked it up. So, the, this movie came out on the seventeenth, which was after okay. episode fifteen. But it's between episode fifteen and sixteen. The event. So, uh huh. In terms of plot that had been revealed to the audience, mm-hmm. by this point, they had just beaten. They had just like stopped Dead Man's. Aguilera had not trans. She transforms at the beginning of sixteen. Okay. So technically, it would have been a spoiler to have Aguilera's like Queen Bee Deadman form, but I think that none of that fucking matters for this movie because this movie <laughs> doesn't give a shit about anything. Well, they don't exactly time uh-huh. their releases or anything, so you know. Yeah. I mean, especially considering yeah. that we're, we're still waiting on Dear Gaga for like in August or some shit. Yeah, and I'll go, like, we'll talk about Dear Gaga too one day, you know. Well, yeah. 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 Also, can we talk about like how like how um oh, Kento? Not a not a, not a think on it. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, fucking, about Kento. You know, yep, yep, he, yep, He's yep. like he's based on Arabian Nights, but he doesn't face off against the Egyptian. Uh, nope. Yeah, mm. I'm kind of like mm, you're right. You're right. That's a that's just a, that's a small good little point. thing, yeah. but I'm like that could have you know it could have worked. It would have been a little interesting if you played with it or anything. But hey. but yeah, they just like mm-hmm. again because Revice is like. Oh, uh, you, you, you want to talk about how they had the weakest rider in Saber team up with Sakura to fight the female monster? Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean we could we could yeah. we could, we could po- poke and prod at a lot of things, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or you want to talk about how Sophia only caves in for five minutes and then leaves? It doesn't even return for like the big, for, like the big gathering at the end, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just showed up for a second. Yeah, she. The fact that I think she actually appears longer as a comic writer in this movie than in the actual episode where she was actually a comic writer for. Oh my god, dude. Uh... I mean, hold on, but but you gotta make you gotta think about. Hold on, uh, Kento is electricity and thunder, and he's fighting Edison. You know, right? He's teaching him a lesson, right? He's letting you know that electricity should be a human right. You yeah. know, and that you can't patent it and yeah. sell it for profit. You know. Also, he's once again, teach- also once mm-hmm. again, uh, uh, boy, just really brings back the like, just bat shit all over the place, like theming between like the various like saber riders and like what they're supposed to be. Like, yeah, you know what I think about with a lion? Water. You know what I think about with fucking, uh, the desert? Electricity. Like, just, yeah, sure, whatever. Fucking, it, just break my brain. Fucking, fuck me up. Like, really, just, just keep on going. Come on, fuck it up. Fuck it up more. Make things weird. Mm-hmm. Right, hey, look, hey, look, don't, don't you, don't you remember that, uh, that Rintero and, 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 uh, and Daiji have great chemistry, so it's appropriate that they team up to fight, you know, right? The, 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 the two classic BFFs, right? Uh-huh. As established within the series, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. It was, it was like, 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 with Drew, right? he's, like, all this character dynamic that they show in this movie makes absolute no sense, right? I don't understand <coughs> why it wasn't, uh, why it wasn't something like Buster and, and Slash teaming up to fight, right? Uh-huh. But, I mean, look, they just, they, they just throw whatever and hope it works, you know? Yeah, I mean, and then, then just again, Sophia just shows up just like, to do her stupid it's just job. A, it's just a flash, it's just flashy fights, they don't really, they don't really care. It's just like, oh, you yeah, know, it's, it's, just, it's just there for fluff. Yeah, it's just there for fluff. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm. and, Look, we need to use up all this movie budget before, right? Maybe before the studio asks, hey, do you guys have any extra money left? Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> also, um, right. going back to piece, I, that was a huge tangent, I'm not gonna lie, which is fine. But, like, the father's something was empty as shit, right? I think it was just like, it, yeah, like they I, mean, I think that it was, 
it was great that it started off with like this sort of uh, the it started off from this whole thing of hey the 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 Igarashis are having family week whatever the fuck that means at the like hot spring come in with your family I guess and get a discount I guess I and then mm-hmm. and then like the kid just like the dad the son and his son walk out of the bath and like he's like I fucking hate you dad you said you were gonna hang out with me blah 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 we were gonna go fishing and then oh yeah the, I, don't, I don't think my dad they don't even go fishing which is the funniest yeah, thing and then the, the train, and, then and then the 60 year old dad does the exact same thing the minute he sees his time traveling father or at least his like consciousness and goes Fuck you, Dad! I hate you! Without a shred of irony. Without a shred of, like, recognition or any kind of, like, feeling of maybe I'm doing the same thing that my 12-year-old child is doing. Nope, I'm just angry. It's I'm just, just immediately angry. It's just when you, I, when you look, see, when I you had, see that Look, I kept this pent-up anger for the last 50 it's, years, it's, you know, and I never forgot it. It's weird, because it's like, it's like, that felt like when you see the interaction between, like, the, the father and the son, you, you feel like it's gonna be a thing okay. where, like, the What about son... the Holy Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> I think that that's what, that's right, what Ryunosuke is, right? Like, Ryunosuke is the Holy Ghost, and his, right, and the, right, and his body in the future is the, is the father. But it just feels like a whole lot, like, a, like they, they had this setup where it's like, maybe the son will come back into the past, and then has to interact with his father, who never really paid attention to him, always going off to work and everything. And then it's just, it feels like the son would, like, like while he wants to save, save like, prevent, like, the, the, the horrible, horrible future... He like he has to deal with his father, right? And that's how like like Iki would you know do his busybody thing and try help out with that, right? I mean, Iki then, does like really fucking butt into this one. He just immediately goes, "Hey, what's up with your you and your kid? Hey, yeah. what's up with you and your dad? Yeah, what's up with why you got so many family problems? Yeah, it's like look you, at me, I don't you, have family you, you think, problems. You think, you think I want to help you with yours. Thing, not only do you I not have to fam- do it because it's a sales thing, right? He's like, oh 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 oh. Uh oh, they didn't leave a they didn't leave a gun it up review. You know? Also, not right? only does he not have a family problem, he'll never have a family problem. His family's tight as shit. They'll never fight each other. Yeah, they'll never break. They'll never have any break or division between them at all. You know. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's right. But, My dad's just right, a what, YouTuber. What, what, that's what, all. Look, he is. look, Iki, look, what me. All everyone is Iki is truthful and honest. You know, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. He just has a dad who has no who has no secrets. Right. His yeah. mom has no secrets. The Their pe- family friend who visits on the weekend. Too much to watch over that has no secrets. That you know, that right? family that keeps coming over to our house, uh, keep coming over to our bathhouse. No there's secrets. nothing in their basement. Mm-hmm. Don't you dare look down there. This isn't parasite. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of like you 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 feel like you set up that kind of the dynamic, and then so this would probably help like with him like rec- becoming a better father to his current to his son. But then they just flip the script and make it so that the younger guy's the son and the older guy's the father, and it's kind of like they also mm-hmm. barely they also barely use that like comparison to like teach the lesson. Yeah, PC, because PC. like if the if there was like if the son came out like the the if. I guess the grandson would be the right way to put it. If the grandson right, came out, let's just refer to the to the son son as the grandson for now on, yeah. just to make it easier. Yeah. All yeah. Right? Like if the grandson came out and like tried to talk to the dad and like the uh, the dad or if the grandson went out and tried to talk to the son and was like I hate like still mad at him and the dad was like watching over him as like a time traveling spirit and saw like the the like issues between them and had to remind him like. Hey, you're doing the same thing I did. Don't be like me, and let's try and like bury the hatch and like be better than <laughs> right? like we were in the past. But instead, it's just like here's this kid. You're going to never see him again until the end of this movie. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best part. I thought he was going to show up as like to present like a to present like to be like the the common ground, right? For like for like the for like the dad and the son <laughs> to realize that they're mistakes, right? Right? They realize they have to fight for the future right like oh like we're fighting for our grandson's future now right yeah right that's what i thought and that's what i thought was the whole point right we have to think about child when you put a child in a fucking movie right right like and you get you have to do something with this fucking child you know right yeah right in this movie right you have to use it as like some form of stupid common ground right like uh oh uh oh why are mom and dad fighting you know right yeah. are you my twin sister <laughs> right yeah, it's really like the whole father, the father of the side dynamic was really weird. It just felt like, oh boy, 
This one, I I get what they're trying to go for this, but they should have probably thought this out way more, right? Yeah. Overall, this movie's just fucking ridiculous. And then the fucking Diablo stamps Mount Fuji and turns into a kaiju for no goddamn reason. Look, they gotta go there, do their cool CGI fight. All right, so all right, so here's the thing I hate about this movie, right? Was when was when they used this movie's uh, special form st stamp, right? Which was the Neil Hopper, right? Which is just a repaint of the of the of the Ichigo uh, stamp that already exists, right? Right. I was expecting for George to give them the saber stamp. Just to tie it all in with Saber or some shit, right? But no, it's not. I felt like it should have been way more appropriate for them to use the Saber stamp in this movie. Yeah, but right? we just wanted to... We just wanted to use the Zero One. It also... Yeah, it's just... There's so much that, like... I guess the idea is because it's, like, about the future, and Zero One is supposed to be in the not-too-distant future... But Zero One predates Saber, but like, mm -hmm. it's not, but it's, you could still have a stamp for it, but you can only get the stamp in the future, because, <laughs> I guess, uh -huh, sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, I like how towards the end, when the dad said it's time to go, right, to yeah. his son, he just stayed around for like an extra minute or some shit, right? Yeah. When he's like, when he's trying to, when they're doing the whole big thing, oh, oh, that's why he fades back to his time. But no, he doesn't, because he has to fucking reconcile with Takashi Hongo, right, before he does. Like, okay, I feel like you could have reconciled this back in your timeline, you know, right? Yeah. You're supposed to disappear right now. Right? Why are you still? Why are you still here in, the, in our timeline? You're literally, uh, you're literally dusting, f uh, fading away as we speak. But you're definitely taking the time to, also, to make up to. Does everyone else see the ghost? Oh, of of, of Kamen Rider Ichigo. Yeah. Or is this just oh, a, oh. a time traveling man disappearing and like seeing a ghost that no one else can see? Like, Boy, that's a like. They don't really show, like, is he just, like, so stuck between, like, the transfer between timelines that he's seeing shit, and he can, he can now see all timelines, he's Doctor oh, Strange, he can fucking... Because <laughs> otherwise it's just a man flittering into glitter and disappearing, and just turning around but, but and he's, talking but to he's himself, taking, and then he turns but around he's and talks to them. Like, there's no sign that everybody else sees the fucking Kamen Rider right, ghost. Yeah, that's what I was saying, right? How, how, how the appearance of Kamen Rider Ichigo was so underutilized in this movie, right? Yeah. Like, if anything, I thought there was gonna be, like, a time rip or some shit, right? Yeah. Where he jumps through the portal and joins them, right? And then we see the original Kamen Rider, uh, the current Kamen Rider, and I the guess future the future Kamen Rider, yeah. Right, all team up to defeat this movie. Like, he's like, hey, he's like, he shows like, hey, what's going on here? And they're like, hey, check out that big monster. You wanna go fight that thing? He was like, alright. Don't know what you guys are talking about, right? It's just like like how Wonder Woman shows up in Batman v Superman, right? Yeah, but this Wonder Woman has a better camp that's sad, really. Wonder Woman has a better cameo in Batman vs. Superman than fucking Kamen Rider Ichigo in a Kamen Rider movie. In a Kamen Rider movie that's specifically about fucking like being Kamen an homage Rider. to like past Kamen Riders. Mm-hmm. That's right? fucked up. That's real fucked up, man. Yeah, like, I was so fuck. I like this. I just felt like this whole cameo appearance was so fucking underutilized. I mean, I, I don't want to say, I guess it's not a cameo appearance. He's actually in this movie, right? But the fact that this whole cover art Ichigo appearance was so underutilized in this movie in every way, right? Yeah, it's... I'm going to blame it all on Saber. Anything that Saber touches turns to shit. No, but I love, but you know what Saber says. This is the story. Look, like he will decide how the story ends. You know, and we need right? to stop letting Toma write things. <laughs> we need to stop letting him be allowed to write things because that keeps that just keeps fucking happening. Mm hmm. Right. Uh oh, William died. So uh, uh, Williams. Oh no. I'll oh, just boy, uh, like I said. Real... Saber kills everything. Oh. Okay. It takes away. It right. takes away all the all, everything that was once pure and beautiful. All right, Saber so, destroys. Okay, so I think my final nitpick of the movie is the actual ending sequence. Where they're all, like, what, hanging out with each other, or...? No, not that. That's a fine. That's a perfectly fine ending sequence. It's when they do the statue of all the common writers, right? And it's pretty good, right? I thought, okay, this is cool. 
I think the worst part is like I didn't like the the actual ending when they show all the statues. I was like, all right, that's nice, right? They show yeah. them all in their base form, and then for like, they start cutting to like other forms, right? Like they cut to Akito's Trinity form. I'm like, wait, why is Akito Trinity form the showcase, right? Why is we why are showing Ryuki's final form, right? It makes those cause, like, they kept cutting back between. Like okay, here are some riders in their final form, and here are riders in their base form. Like this makes no sense. Why are yeah. you? Still- I mean, it really just was, like, emblematic of how all over the place all of the... Because, again, as we were saying, like, these oh, are supposed to be... they don't even show doubles of actual final form. They show Fang Joker, right? Yeah. And they even show Extreme. Yeah. I, I really... <laughs> I really don't get what it, the point of it is. Like, I, like, like, if it was all in their base for, like, oh, yeah, that's cool, you know? Like, yeah, like, here's, here's 50 years of common Rider history, you know, right? That are being yeah. shown, but it's like, right, but no, this is like red. They just decide to show like it's just these whoever they, covers in yeah, random whatever. Forms. It's it's almost like the same level of shit with P Bandai, where they're just like, uh yeah, we're gonna put out this one and this mm-hmm. one, right? And... Uh, this is the only suit we could get out of storage in time to film this, you know? Like, yeah, right. Yeah, we'll we'll give you I a figure this, this the... guy and this guy. Yeah, and... put put this on the mannequin, right? Yeah, don't ask for anything else. We'll we'll yeah. get oh, you. I don't think this was a good movie. Yeah, I it, don't it was a really wasted opportunity. Like it, right, they, like, everything they else about concept. Revice has so far been pretty confident, and this just like had the. Inf- I, I'm telling you, it's once Saber gets involved in anything, it just muddies everything up. Mm-hmm. Like really, right. if you think about it, Saber didn't really need to be present in this movie at all. Right. Yeah. Like this movie is completely unchanged if you take all of the Saber elements out. Mm-hmm. It's just right. everybody like fighting. And, like, Saber is there, but, I mean, it's everybody fighting, but, like, okay, so they needed more common Riders to be fucking people fighting against all of the monsters. Just make uh, four, uh, just make less fucking uh, monsters for them to fight, or something. Like, mm-hmm. there's plenty of ways they could have worked around, like, needing everybody from fucking Saber to show up. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. they had all those actors still on contract, you know, gotta, gotta use it up. All right, yeah. I think that's the end of this movie. I, I have, think that's, uh, I I think that's an apt way to just let that end, yeah. All right, Chlorovice is still a thing. Wash your hands, wear your mask, get your shots. The booster's a thing now. Okay, thanks, bye.